Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Coming at you with a new video, building a new passive solar pool heater for our 21 foot above ground pool. Check out my previous DIY pool videos if you want to see that. Have a 4x8 piece of plywood. It just barely fit into our traverse. And uh, I'm going to pull that out, cut it up, and make a 4x4 four four box. So this is pretty standard here, just starting up some 2x4 pressure treated lumber here. Going to cut up the uh, 4x8 sheet too, cut that in half, and go ahead and put everything together with some screws. So as you can see here, I got everything all finished up here with the 2x4s and the plywood. Everything's been screwed down. And I'm ready to go on to my next step. It's uh, pretty straightforward here building this 4x4 box and this is just the shell for the solar pool heater. So the next step in the process here is to go ahead and staple in some of this bubble insulation. This is some extra product that I had around that I haven't used so I decided to go ahead and put this in the box. So this type of insulation actually reflects heat and light because of the silver color. So at a point in the future when it's warmer out I'm going to go ahead and paint it flat black. So this insulation will add a little bit of R value and when it's black it will attract lots of heat. Once this is completed I'll have plexiglass over the frame and the coil inside or the black tubing will heat up quite nicely. This insulation is very easy to work with. As you can see with a standard pair of scissors I'm just cutting it up and cutting it to the dimensions of the box. So I've gone ahead and completed the box here as far as placing the insulation, cutting and stapling everything together. I'm going to go ahead and put some heat tape, silver heat tape between the seams at a later point when it's warmer out. You can see I got the half inch black irrigation tubing in. Looks pretty good here. I have about 100 to 200 feet I like to get into the box. I'm going to wait till it's a little bit warmer so it's a little bit more pliable and easier to work with. This is just going to coil around inside the box. As water passes through and it gets hit by the heat and warmed up, it's going to go into the pool. I'll also show you here that I've drilled out two holes on the side. This is where the tube will enter and exit the box as cold water comes in and hot water exits the pool heater. Now as you can see, it's lots of snow outside. When I started this project, it was like 60 degrees at the end of February. Now it's middle of March and it's about 20 degrees. So I'm waiting for the first warm up to do the next steps of the project. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate your support here and checking out this project. This is the Solar DIY Passive Pool Heater. Part two is coming up once it warms up. Thanks for watching.